Hi everyone, this is Not Afraid of Color. My name is Tracy and welcome to my video. I hope you enjoy. And so off we go. Hey everybody. So today I thought that I would do a little comparison for you here with the Lunar Paste and the Foundry Wax. Okay, so they both have their merits for sure. I just finished this one and uh, this one here was done with lunar paste. And once I added water to it, a lot of the mica, I don't know if you can see the shine from that, but a lot of the mica spread itself out onto the project. And it did not resist as well as the um, foundry wax. So you can see there's no mica. So, Let's just play around and see here. We'll start small, and I've got several here. We probably won't do them all, but I, I pre-did several of these. And uh, one thing about the foundry wax is it's supposed to be able to cover metal. And these, um, these are not resin, they're plastic. So you can guess what's gonna happen because you have to heat set the foundry wax. So we're gonna see if, if either product works on plastic. But we'll start with these little metal things. And let's just, for comparison's sake, we'll use the Slippery When Wet Lunar Paste. And we'll use the Gilded Foundry Wax. And now I'm going to move these all way aside because you don't want to get your heat near them. In fact, I'm going to move them way, way aside. And we'll start with the Lunar Paste because it has to dry naturally. Pretty much. Yeah, mine's pretty goopy. And I'm just going to... I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm gonna do this feather and see what happens. It spreads on, gives decent coverage. I wanna be completely fair about this. I kinda of have to Add a little texture to get the thickness I need without losing the detail of the feather. Okay, so we'll set that aside to dry. Uh, the beauty of Lunar Paste is it cleans up with water. So that's always a happy thing. So I'm just going to clean my fingers off here. Sort of. <laughs> And then let's do the little feather. And I'm probably going to need something to hold on to that while I heat it. So I'm going to go ahead and set it up in my tweezers here. Well, I don't know if that's going to work because I sort of need it flat to coat it. Okay. I'll figure it out. <laughs> so you got to shake up the foundry wax. Shake it really well. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna go with about this much. And I'm gonna let it set up kind of for a few seconds. So it thickens a bit. And I'm just gonna start wiping it on. I don't want to lose any of my texture on my feather here. And since I have some left over, I might as well do one of these. I don't want to waste it because it's not cheap. Let's go ahead and do one of these little star. The little pattern in here is stars, but it really doesn't really doesn't show up well. Okay, and then do what I can on this one. And I'm just using my fingers. You can use a brush, you can use gloves. I don't know about a dauber. All right. So those all have to be heat set. It can sit there. It can sit there, it doesn't matter. 
and this this will wipe up if you wipe it up right away but otherwise you do have to clean it with isopropyl alcohol which yeah yeah so let me go ahead since we're comparing and i did those two let's do those with the lunar paste so that they can dry I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take and wipe my finger along and a little bit different because this is a very small piece. Get these stars to show up with the lunar paste. All right. I'll set these aside to dry. Get my finger cleaned off, sort of. Now, the metal is going to take longer. What I want to do, and I know that my surface will be okay, my glass surface, but I want to kind of be able to hold it. And I'm going to, I'm going to grab my silicone mat here so that I have a place to set it when it's done. I'm going to take my heat tool. It warming up. Better get myself in frame, huh? See it forming itself into the little feather. Set these as well. Not easy to pick up. Here's the lunar paste. Here's the gelding wax, or the, yeah, not the foundry wax. So it definitely presents a more natural gold color. I didn't quite get enough on this one because I was using the leftover. I mean, gold is gold, right? And see if this is cooled off. So here's feather, it's still kind of warm. Wax isn't gonna rub off. This one's probably still, nope, this is dry. So, well, it's not dry on the back, but there's the difference in color. So you definitely get a more natural metallic feel. All right, let's do, let us do the, okay, the benefit to lunar paste is it comes in more colors. So let's grab little butterfly here. 
and I'm going to do him in psych. Where is psych? And I haven't opened this one yet. I hate, I love that they wrap the stuff up. I hate the stuff that's wrapped up. It's a pain. All right. Oops. Sorry about that. Looks like I got dog fights going. I decided not to do voiceover on this one because I have to go to work today. So, so I want to make sure that I'm not getting it too thick because that's what happened with that. And I'm just going to rub over the surface. Very gently. Oh, that color's pretty. <laughs> I like that. That's my birthstone. I like peridot. Okay, see I got too much on my finger and so it went into the crevices. That's okay. So, I want to just be careful with the fingers there. Okay, there's, there's the lunar paste in Psyche. And let's do the boundary wax and statue. And again, I'm just going to go over with my finger. That's really pretty. Let's make sure I don't have any wet lunar paste on my fingers. See where I just poured that? Okay. Just gonna let it sit for a few seconds so it kind of thickens up. Dab into it as you spread it, and then gently go over with my fingers. And we're just working with just regular white watercolor paper, by the way. And I got a little heavy handed there with my fingers again. Seems to be always in the same place. The lunar paste is definitely a lot cheaper. And you get more in the bottle. So, you know, I could agree with Nancy on that. What we want to see, see I've got to use isopropyl alcohol to clean up, which is going to present a scent, a smell, and also the, um, the foundry wax. Like, don't smoke while you're using it. <laughs> it is um, it's flammable. All right, let's go ahead and heat set the foundry wax and see what we get. This definitely looks like metal. Let me put Lunar Paste Butterfly on my hand here. And that definitely looks like metal as well. It looks shiny, but it's more of a jewel tone. It's got more of a, you know, the mica sparkle. Okay, we got butterflies done. Now let's, let's go. Let's get these two guys and let's go in with a brush on them. 
So I'll go in with the lunar paste first. And let's see which brush was I gonna use with that. This one here. And we'll go ahead and go in with the, hmm, let's go in with um, traffic cone. I got goobers on there, sorry about that. And I'm gonna just grab some with my brush here because I wanna coat the whole thing. And because it's white, it should coat just fine. If I could get the paper to not move around on me. I wanna spread it in nice and even. Okay, there's the lunar paste. Let me just clean off my brush. Now I've got another brush with the foundry wax and we'll go in with the sort of coppery color. It's called Mind. it up. I think I'm going to dump it onto here instead. Got sort of a flat brush like Tim recommends. And well, those colors don't really compare at all, do they? But they're close. Close in range, I guess. And I'm just trying to get it rubbed in before it dries because it will dry right on here. See how it gets thick like that? Now I'll try to spread it in with my finger now that it's thicker. Definitely it starts to turn to toast there. So let's heat set that and see what we get. So it was harder to spread, but it definitely looks like metal. And here's the lunar paste one. It's shiny, but not metal. All right, let's go on. Let's go on with these big boys right here. Let's do this lace one side by side. So that one's going to be finger as well. And let's see here. You know, I think I want to go in with the Psych again. I really like that. And let's try so that I don't get so much on my finger. I'm just going to spread some on my little mat and go this way with it. And this embossed item isn't very tall, so it is going in between where I don't want it to. And I have a feeling that's not going to matter which which product I use. Lunar paste dries pretty quickly, especially the way I laid it out. But it's going definitely going in the crevices. So we'll set that aside. Get my water. Clean up here. And this little silicone mat, everything cleans up on it. This is just a small one of the many I have. All right, clean off my finger. All right, now we'll go in with the gilding wax on the other one. 
And I think I'm going to go back to putting it on my glass here. Uh, let's try statue. And I think I want to attach this while it's nice and thin, so I may have to do, you know, several applications. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to start with it thin. And yeah, see, it's, it's going to, no matter what, try to go into my project as well. Since I'm working on my glass mat, if I get it all wiped up, then we're in good shape. All right, now I've got to heat set that. So the other disadvantage is if you're working with paper and you have to heat set it, you have a second chance of the darn thing warping. Ever heard the expression meh? It's kind of, I'm kind of meh about that. Not really overly impressed with this. Sorry, Tim, you know I love you. I love all your products, but this one, meh, meh. Let's try something different. Let's go with one of these more 3D ones where I have less of a chance of getting it everywhere. But I'm, see, I'm gonna have to use an awful lot of product in order to kind of get color. So we'll go back in with the gilded here. Oh, let's do our Simon Hurley one first. And we'll go back in with the um, Slippery When Wet because it's kind of a gold color. And use my trusty dusty finger here. And I'm just going to try and just go over the high points. Keep in mind, you know, that you you finish coloring these afterwards. And dab my finger off here. This is really pretty. Yeah, I can tell it's going to take a lot of gilding wax to cover this particular one. Now, honestly, if I were doing this to, you know, other than for demonstration purposes, I would probably take my time and be more careful spreading the uh, lunar paste on or the gilding wax for that matter. All right, let's clean that off, clean my finger off. Again, water cleanup, yes, for the win. All right, let's get this over here. Hopefully, that's not presenting too much glare for you. And I can't even see where I am on my camera. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely in frame. Let me uh, zoom in a little, move up a little. Okay, all right, so we'll get the gilded. I'm gonna, I can tell I'm gonna need a pretty good dab of it here. And I'm gonna work quickly. Oh. Oh. 
I can tell this is going to be pretty awesome. See how it's already starting to thick up on me, though? In order to kind of keep a flat finger and get it spread properly, I need it to be pretty liquidy. Yeah, there's plenty there. See, it's already having trouble spreading. So probably best to work in small spurts if you don't want it all gummed up like that. Clean that off with my rag. All right, let's heat set that. There's definitely a smell to it. I'm not gonna say it's a bad smell, but I can definitely smell it. Okay, here's our comparison. Here's the Gilded in the Foundry, the Foundry Wax. Here is the Lunar Paste. So, um, what do I think? What do I think? Well, I mean, most definitely for colorizing metal, I will be reaching for the Foundry Wax every time. I wasn't able to get a nice, good coverage without losing some of my detail with the lunar paste. Um, this one just melted right into the nooks and crannies, so I was really happy with that. And you know, it can do a mixed metal. Now what you could do, um, you could take the gilding wax and do the outside edges and then color the inside with the lunar paste just for a different look. Um, as far as coverage, full coverage goes, um, I got better coverage with the lunar paste. Um, I imagine I didn't work fast enough, but I definitely, this looks more metallic than the lunar paste. Obviously that if this were copper colored, it would probably look more metallic, right? And as far as our little stars go, well, operator error. I got too thick with heavy handed with the lunar paste there and not thick enough with the gilding, um, with the foundry wax. Our butterflies. Definitely both look very metallic. Um, this one I had to heat set. This one I did not. Dried right away, well, pretty quickly. And then finally, we'll look at these two. This was the lunar paste. This was the foundry. Now, I think that possibly if you were to mix some of your lunar paste until Simon comes out with more colors because the one thing that's missing is the actual like real metal colors because these are real metal okay so they're metal flaked so you have to kind of mimic those colors you might be able to like do a mix of two or three of these to come up with more natural metal colors Anyway, that's that's my comparison and review. These were ones that I did earlier, and as I did explain, let me get this up close. I'm, I'm sure, not sure if the light's gonna catch it or not, but the when I wet this, so I did these first, and then I uh, sprayed them with the um, Distress spray stains and water, and the mica leaked out, and it didn't completely resist See, these were all the same color, but it still looks cool. And then this one, of course, nothing leaked out because once you set this, it's on there. It's not going anywhere. Y'all, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you make an informed decision on what you might want to spend your hard-earned money on. 
I see myself using the foundry wax for a lot of applications, more so on three-dimensional and definitely on metal objects. Um, I'm not going to, oh, you know what, let me just, I'm not going to demonstrate on these because I already melted several of them. <laughs> but if you have stuff made of resin, you can cover resin. Um, you can just do little bits, you know, maybe you've got this tag and you just want a little bit of a gold accent. You can just do little bits here and there um, of either one. So, yay, Ranger. I like both products. There is a big difference, and then there's a little difference. I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday. Enjoy. Bye.